Hey YouTube, it's Andrew with Off Grid Solar Smart House, and today we got the Vitomin Flash Speed 1500. So let's get into it. The Flash Speed 1500 has a 1500 watt inverter with a 3000 watt surge pure sine wave. The battery size is 1548 watt hours, LiPo 4, rated at 3100 life cycles which is really good the unique thing about this unit is you can actually jump start your car with it and i haven't seen that on any other units so far on the back it has a very large light bar with three modes low medium and high it also has pulse and strobe On the side, we have this yellow honeycomb cover for the fans. On the top, we have a storage drawer, which includes a USB-C cable, a lightning cable, and a cigarette plug with a barrel connector, and a charging cable to charge the unit up. Now, do keep in mind, when you do have a storage drawer on the top, you do lose your wireless charging. So there are some trade-offs with the storage drawer. So keep that in mind. So on the bottom of the unit, on the right, we have three AC outlets. In the middle left side, we have two USB-C outlets, and these have a output of 100 watts, which is really cool. Right below that, we have three USB-A at 15 watts. And then we have one USB-A at 18 watts. To the left of that, we have two barrel connectors, 12 volt. Right above that, we have the DC cigarette plug. And then above that, we have the input. We have the solar input, and this is an Anderson connector, and it takes 30 volts to 60 volts. To the left, we have the DC input at 12 volts to 20 volts, and that's a total of 600 watts in on the 400 on the solar side and 200 on the DC side. And right above that, we got the AC input at 1500 watts. On the right side, you could see we have this jumper cable output, which is pretty unique. I've never seen this on a unit. Basically, you connect your jumper cables here, connect it to your car, and you can jump start your car if your battery's dead, which is pretty cool. Innovative. So to turn on your outputs, you just click on the buttons. The screen will turn on with an indicator. Right there, I just turned the DC off, AC on. This unit is 41 pounds, and it is pretty comfortable to carry because of the handles on the side. Right now, we got 23% battery capacity, and we're pulling in over 200 watts on my solar panel that I laid outside. It's just on the ground. And I wanna see if I could dual charge this thing. So we're gonna plug in the power cord into the unit, and now we're going to plug it into the wall and we'll see what happens. So far we're pulling in 900 watts now and climbing. 1100, about 15, 17, 1806 watts. So right now we're pulling in about 200 watts on the solar and 1600 from the wall outlet. So this thing should charge up in less than an hour, which is really cool. The battery capacity just went up already. So dang, man, this thing is pumping in some power. This is the fastest charging solar generator that I have at the moment. I have another unit that's able to pull in 1500 watts, but this thing is pulling in 1800. That is crazy. Some crazy speeds. All right, let's test out the fans and see how loud this unit is. 
we're gonna turn it on. Turn the heater on. So it's about 66 decibels. So I tested the battery efficiency with this portable heater and I was able to get 81% efficiency out of this unit, which is pretty average. This unit also has a built-in UPS at 22 milliseconds. I really like this unit. It has some unique features with the car jumper output and also allowing us to bring in more than 1500 watts of power to charge it up. If you guys are interested in this unit, I'll include it in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.